guys, Awesome Dirt Show here, and today we're doing an opening of these Legacy Collection Power Rangers for the new Power Rangers movie. Of course, it's coming out here in a couple, a week or two, I don't remember exactly. Um, but as you can see, this is the brand new um, Toys R Us exclusive uh, Power Ranger, or action figure says what I meant to say. And this is a part of the whole Legacy Collection thing that I've been doing a lot of videos on and stuff. For the, um, so of course we have a new episode of My Morphin Collection here. Um, showing these off and so these are kind of like the um, Marvel uh, Legends thing that I opened in a video last week so you with each of these you get an action figure and then they all come with a body part and as you see by the little pictures here they um, the body parts all combine together to build the new Megazord and so that's super cool with these um, so again these are only at Toys R Us and I had a lot of um, had a lot of searching to try and find these last two were the only two I couldn't find and so I was like online searching and stuff for everything and people were trying to sell a pink range for hundred and twenty five dollars which was ridiculous ridiculous and I was like that price I'm never gonna get this set complete but we ran into Toys R Us the other day and just happened to find these two still or they had them on the shelf again and stuff so super happy about that so we'll go ahead and get them open and we'll do kinda like that last video where I'll take them all out of the box and then go through them individually so we'll probably cut to them being open Okay guys, so we're back now, and we'll start off, well, I guess, with just the Blue Ranger. Um, so I'll kind of just start with this one first and then go through it. So the Blue Ranger, of course, here, as you can see, um, these are probably the coolest um, figures out of the whole, um, all the new movie versions that I've gotten and everything. I really like these most. Of course, they're like the most expensive and stuff, and so they're super articulate. Like you can move just about every single body part um, imaginable and stuff like that, and they're... Um, really cool and so like the um these figures ex ex especially like they stand up pretty well and stuff like sorry this is an overview and stuff but you can see um like their chest plate the helmet really good and everything um but like i said the chest plate and um of course the morpher there on the belt then on the back they have um this like little circles and stuff too that go with their design and everything and it just looks really cool um but so there's the blue ranger and then of course it comes with the left leg of the Zord, which we'll get in this because, um, so in like the big figure that I had, the um, Triceratops was one leg and the Mastodon was the other, but in this and then like other figures of the um, Megazord that I've seen, it has like this sort of weird foot that's like half blue and stuff like that. So I don't know exactly what's going on there and stuff. Um, obviously, once the movie comes out, we'll be able to see more what the Zord is and. Um, the Megazord is and stuff and then I'll probably make more sense but of course we'll go ahead and set this to the side to be able to um, put it together later but there was the Blue Ranger and then next up we have the Black Ranger which again is just ex like the blue just obviously in black everything is articulate there's a um, better view of like the helmet and stuff like that and then again he has the blue that you can see a lot better on the back there um, I assume to look like they're power or are powered and stuff like that but again, he stands, they have all sorts of movements so you can like adjust to get it to be able to stand and everything. Um, but again, it's just really cool, very uh, movable and articulate and everything. Um, and the guys are super um, good for this and everything, like to be able to stand up and everything. And then of course he comes with the right leg. Um, so again, just like on the left, just a mirror image of it and stuff. And again, we'll set that to the side, be able to build the other one. So that was the um, Black Ranger. Then we will move on to the Red Ranger next. And so, of course, again, he's the exact same, so not going to go much into it um, here. You can see, I'll show you the heads and stuff, so you can see the different design and everything of it. But everything else is exactly the same. Again, very movable, all that sort of stuff, and a very awesome figure and everything. And he comes with the left arm, and as you can see, it's got, um, I don't know if that's the... Um, Guns, oh, I guess they look exactly the same. I would say it looks um, here like the um, gun from the uh, Sabertooth. Because um, that's what the uh, big figure I did had. Um, but both look exactly the same as you'll see here in a second. But that has the left arm. Again, we'll sit to the side. Oh, and along with the Red Ranger, he does come with the sword like the um, other figure. Thus, the regular cheaper figure did too. So it has this um, sword and stuff here, but again, he comes with it, but no one else has one um, of the figures have one and stuff like that. So I'm not exactly sure, but it, he has this sword thing there. 
Next up we will go with um, the Yellow Ranger here. And so again the Yellow Ranger looks a little um, a lot skinnier because of the girl they make him a lot skinnier for some reason. And um, again still very movable, very kind of weak joints and stuff like that. Which is one of the problems I found with these things because I have had another set. It was the, um, gosh what was it they made? The Ninja Storm I think. They made three Ninja Storm figures. And so it was a guy, um, a guy? No, it was two guys and a girl, I think. But whatever it was, the Blue Ranger from that, um, I had a lot of problems with her standing up and stuff because her, um, she's so thin, and then, like, her body, like, joints her get weak and stuff, and the, she would just fall over <laughs> all the time and stuff. Um, I think I've got her fixed now, but, um, yeah, when I first got it, though, it was a big problem. Um, but here's, of course, the Yellow Ranger. Now, you'll show you the helmet and stuff there to see the differences between all of them and everything. And, of course, the back and all that. And then she comes with the right arm. And, again, it has that same sort of gun weapon thing so that I thought was from the Sabertooth and all that. Um, but that is, of course, the um, right arm so we can put that on the Zord when it's built. And then we have the Pink Ranger next. Again, just like um, the Yellow Ranger, very skinny and has kind of like really weak joints and all sorts of stuff. But again, very movable. You can move all, all sorts of stuff. And then it will go up close to the head, which I think the Pink Ranger is like the most standout um, and stuff because of the like head design there on top and stuff. But her helmet's like the most unique and does kind of look like the pterodactyl or something like that, like closest to the original and everything. But again, looks really... Um, nice and everything, but the weakness of the joints we'll have to see if when I go to put it on a shelf if it hurts anything. But she comes with um, the two, oh, I just lost one, the wings. Let me see if I can pick, get it. Um, but she comes with the wings um, for the uh, Zord and everything. Of course, the um, pterodactyl wings from the ship and stuff, but these will obviously go on the back and stuff. Um, but that's what she comes with instead of a body part and stuff. She has the wings. And then last but not least, we have Alpha 5 here, which I think is a weird looking character. Like, I don't like it as much, um, especially compared to the original, where a bunch of, where the Rangers I've kind of gotten used to and think they're kind of cool, but Alpha I just think is weird. It still does have the red ha um, round head design um, of the original, but of course it's a lot flatter and everything. Then it has two, what I assume are eyes, where the old one had the little light that would go back and forth on the front of its head and stuff um, but it is um, little it looks real small in the trailers at least where the other one was just like a little person or some short person that was alpha in the old ones and stuff I haven't messed with him to see yeah he stands up pretty well I guess um, so it's pretty cool I mean like I said not much to it like he does have a lot of the moving parts like his hands can spin of course arms and move it's the same thing with his feet and everything they all move in all sorts of weird directions and stuff and then he comes with of course the main part of the zord which is the like torso and head and everything this here so now um we do have all the pieces now so we can finally put the megazord together and um hopefully this will be really cool and hopefully i can get it together so um we'll now piece it together so we can go ahead and lay them all out here all the parts to get it to put together Oops, I think the wing goes there. Then, of course, we have our legs. Oops, can't fit it in. Uh, but we'll now put it, piece it together. Um, and so I'll bring it back once it's together. Okay, guys, so I got it all together now. And it went together really easy um, compared to other stuff like this I've put together. But it looks super cool. Of course, can't raise up too much or it doesn't fit and everything. But it looks so awesome. So, of course, we have the head, the chest plate, which is the T-Rex and all this stuff, the saber tooth tiger. Then the, again, the leg is supposed to be the um, Triceratops and Mastodon type thing. And then, of course, the pterodactyl head and the wings on the back there and everything. But it looks really cool. It's, um, again, very, like, articulate. Not as much as the figures were. Like, it's only got the elbow joints. The hands don't turn or anything. The shoulder. And then um, the, like, thigh or whatever. The knee. And then the um, foot maybe can spin. I don't know exactly. It doesn't really feel like it. And then the head can twist a little back and forth and stuff. But again, it looks super cool. And this is what the Zords, um, the Megazord's going to look like in the movie and stuff compared to um, the figure that I did um, a little bit ago. Um, 
that had all the individual parts that you put together and stuff. It'll look a lot more like this, and I think it looks super cool. It's a very cool looking Megazord. But I think that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know which um, Ranger is your favorite so far, like costume or anything. Hit the red subscribe button to see more, and we will see you next time.